Hey guys. This will be the weekly reading for Cancer. Hope you guys are all having a good week so far. Sending you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading, so this may not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, but this could resonate with you if you have placements in Cancer or you're dealing with somebody that does have placements in Cancer. Please take a moment to read through the description box as well, guys. I would really appreciate it if you did that before take watching this video. Cancer. What are my cancers need to know at this time, spirit? All right, one more shuffle and we will get into it. Cancer. What do my cancers need to know at this time, Spirit? What do my cancers need to... Oh, hold up. Some of you guys can be feeling left behind by an earth sign or an earth sign is feeling left behind by you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Leo energy here. Some of you guys could definitely be with a Scorpio because this reading is very similar to Scorpio's reading already. Could also be dealing with an Aquarius. So what I'm seeing here, guys, somebody is um, feeling like they missed an opportunity or somebody's feeling rejected. Somebody's in their feelings for sure. Somebody didn't give you what you deserved in the past. Or somebody was going through some type of financial hardship in the past. What's the Queen of Cups? Three of swords. So yeah, somebody's heartbroken. You guys are heartbroken over somebody or something. Or somebody you're dealing with is heartbroken. Four of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Somebody wants to try to manifest something new here, but they feel they may have missed an opportunity. So now they are in their feelings about that. Five of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. What's that to do with the five pentacles? Mm. Could be an air sign involved in this. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does this have to do with my two of swords? Somebody couldn't make up their dang mind. But I feel like now something is getting left behind. Something is, somebody, somebody is possibly getting left behind because they couldn't make up their mind. Somebody's trying to heal from the past. King of Cups. Could be in with the water. Another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this is you guys. You guys have been trying to heal from something that happened in the past here. I feel like you guys, Spirit says there's a lesson to be learned here. 
Some of you guys could have been dealing with a very lustful um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody has learned their lesson. Yeah, somebody has learned their lesson. Queen of Pentacles. I see that you guys have withdrawn from a, a situation. A cycle has ended or closed out, but you guys have not moved on from it yet. You guys may be trying to focus on career, um, money, or if you're a parent, you've been just focusing on your children. But I just see that you guys have not moved on from a situation. You guys have been trying to heal from something. What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys have been working on something in regards to career. Money, kind of manifest a new stable beginning for yourself. Or this is what somebody is doing with you. They've been trying to focus on work, but they have not moved on from you. Yeah, somebody has a lot of instability in their life. A family situation could have come to an end. Or this person has no direction. Somebody has no direction. What does this have to do with the sun? Somebody's not happy that a relationship has come to an end or what's the sun though? Why the sun though? The chariot. Somebody. Somebody's not ready to get into a new relationship here because they're still healing from something from their past that they have not moved on from. That's what I'm getting from this. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Strength. Yes, somebody needs to gain the strength here to be able to speak a truth or communicate. They're trying to gain clarity here to make a decision. But I just feel like this person just feels like they are not ready. They're not ready for a commitment. They're not ready for um, to communicate, to express something here. All right, let's get some more clarity here. We have low key. Yeah, somebody's been hiding something from you. It's like they've been keeping a secret from you. They've been trying to avoid you or somebody's been avoiding someone. Because they don't want to reveal some type of info that they've been trying to keep hidden. But they're watching you. They're admiring you from afar. What this this person's weird, okay? They 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 view you as someone very special to them. They do want you as like they would like for you guys to come into union. But it's like this person's secretly watching you. They're avoiding like This person could have also um, changed direction as well. The Whatever direction they were going in, they're not going in that direction anymore. This person knows that they're going to have to prove to you, if they come back towards you, that you're going to want proof of something here. Yeah, somebody is resisting taking some cha making some changes in their life. Some of 
you guys could be in the spotlight. This person sees good things happening to you. They feel like you're a very lucky person. They feel like you're very blessed. Hmm. This person's very selfish. It's like somebody may be coming back towards you, like applauding you for something, praising you for something that you have achieved in your life. And it's going to almost seem like they're being fake. Like you're just, you're not going to be able to believe this person that you're going to feel like they're not being honest with you, that they're faking, they're putting on a front, that they're trying to get something out of you. Like they're going to be coming in, they're coming in very, being very extra. I feel like they're going to be trying, they're coming in like flexing. So they're going to be a little bit arrogant, guys. A little bit cocky. Ugh, I don't like this. Yeah, this person's coming in love bombing you. So you guys are going to feel like you have to be careful with this person because you don't know what their motives are. This person could just be trying to get info on you. Hmm. There could have been some gossip that this person was sleeping around with people or that maybe they heard some gossip that you were sleeping around. It's like, you guys know something about this person. Like, this person's going to come in trying to, like, be very smooth, butter you up. But you guys know something about this person. You're very disappointed in this person. You, they've made some very stupid decisions. And they may not know that you know. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. They may not know that you guys, they've been being a, you know, a hoe. All right? They may not know that, that they've been sleeping around. That they, or maybe that you guys found out about something that happened when you guys were together. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here. And they're going to be coming in buttering you up. But it's like you guys know better. Like you guys are going to feel like this person's fake. It's like this person doesn't think that you're going to have anything nice to say to them. Because they know. Let's see here. Benching. Yeah, somebody's coming back for sure. But you guys are going to have to defend yourself. You guys are going to have to set boundaries with this person. Yeah, it's, you guys aren't letting this person back in easily. It's like, I don't see you guys completely rejecting this person, but I feel like you're going to feel them out. Some of you guys could be out there looking for dating somebody else or looking for somebody new to date. It's like somebody's secrets got exposed. You know exactly what this person has been doing. You know exactly what they were doing when you guys were together. That has been revealed to you. But I don't know that this person knows that you know, if that makes sense. All right. They're going to be coming in, love bombing you. Saying a lot of nice things, but you guys are going to be like, no, I know what you've been doing. I know what you did when we were together. No, like, it's like, that's what I'm getting from this. Hmm. All right, guys. So, yeah, I don't think you guys are going to be letting this person back in. You guys may not be saying completely no to this person, but you guys aren't going to let this person use you. Yeah. And I feel like some of you guys are going to have some choice words with them. You're going to tell them about themselves. All right. So this is what I have for you. Let's actually, before I wrap this up, let's do a few cards to see what the underlying energies here that if anything else, um, look at this guys. I smile in your face and I talk shit behind your back. So there's somebody around you that may act like they're happy for you, but they're really not. 
that's coming here throwing shade like this person may act happy in front of your face but they they're not saying good things about you behind your back when you're not around or what i'm also getting here is that this person is going to be coming in buttering you up while also withholding some type of truth from you yeah not telling you the full story hmm all right, what do my um what else do they need to know, Spirit? About the situation. Unblock me now. So you guys could have blocked somebody. I do this with everyone. So yeah, this person's like a serial cheater, a serial user. Mm. You're not the first person that they played or that they've done this to. I had sex with someone you know. Oh Lord. So yeah. You guys could have known they were sleeping with a certain person or it's like somebody that is in your circle that they sleep. That's what it is, guys. You guys found out about it or you, you guys know that they've done something. Evil spells or dark magic. So this person, somebody could be... Mm, somebody that this person could have messed around with or slept with could be um, have not good intentions for you. They could be using doing dark magic. They could be plotting against you is what I'm seeing here. Mm, not good guys so i hope that this reading helped you guys thank you so much for watching um don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you could take something from this reading um personal readings are open with very limited availability so if you're interested in that send me an email um and don't forget to like and follow me on instagram and facebook i'm going to try to get back into posting collective readings but other than that guys i will talk to you soon thank you for watching bye